Time to talk about radicals, but not the ones you're probably thinking of. So I was watching or rather hearing YouTube videos on my way to work as I usually do and something unexpected happened. YouTube recommended me a video by a YouTuber named Radical Rick YouTuber talking about Alpha Omega Sin. Naturally, I clicked the video. After all, who doesn't like some drama on his way to work? At first, I thought I was watching the usual troll type video bashing another YouTuber, but quickly realized that was not the case. Yeah, I had seen plenty of troll videos by funny and not so funny YouTubers, but this was something else. By the end of the video, I was curious of two things. Who is this radical and where is Alpha? I haven't even noticed that he was gone for more than a year by now. So anyway, I check out the radical channel and in less than 10 minutes became a subscriber. And even though I don't comment, I always watch the new videos. So what's so special about this radical? Simply put, he says what we all are thinking. And while the average tone of his videos may give the impression of a typical troll hate at first, it couldn't be any further from the truth. See, Radical Rick points out the little shady things that may fly under the radar. I'm not talking about the typical e-beggar. I'm talking about the more shady figures like Metal Jesus and even beat'em ups. At first, those guys seem like an innocent bunch of cool dudes talking about video games but take a closer look and you quickly realize the true motives behind what they do. I even started noticing things of my own. Some of y'all probably were like, he didn't open my thing on camera. Now I of course don't always agree 100% with everything Rick says. For example, I do think that having a Patreon can be alright provided you are not making bank with view ads. I myself have a Patreon which I never promoted in my clothes because I initially thought it was another sharing platform for wider exposure which turns out to be not the case at all. But I do agree, if you're making money off ad revenue, you shouldn't be begging for money online. I never understood why big YouTubers keep crying about one thing or another and constantly threaten to quit if they don't receive cash. Yes, some political YouTubers like Computing Forever can't easily get a job while continuing his normal content due to political correctness and his employer most likely not being too pleased with his content. But those guys can be counted on one hand. The rest are just constantly whining about how hard they work on videos. Even the millionaires like PewDiePie who, like you said, keep pushing his match and never give back anything to the community. No one to this day explained why can't they get a job and make YouTube videos on the side. After all, they constantly lecture us about making videos for passion yet can't seem to take their own advice. They keep crying when one video gets demonetized while making bank on everything else, like RGT85. That's the reason I lost respect to almost all YouTubers and would never donate a dime. When I first started doing YouTube, I thought of it as a great place for creators. Now that I know that's not the case, I keep making the content I like the way I like it. It's great to finally see a creator that speaks the truth on topics we all accept it as normal. I'm still unsure on how to title this video, maybe great YouTubers to watch? But then again, I'm not sure I would be able to recommend more than 5. Anyway, big thank you for Radical Rick, keep making great content and expose what is wrong with this once great platform. I'm Adam3k3, like the video if you like it, subscribe for more upcoming content and most of all send donations. That car insurance won't pay for itself guys.